Hi, this is Robert Overholser of Luft Technik in Richmond, Virginia, working again with Idea Television on a video series for the 991 GT3. We've got the car in the shop, and we're actually going to put it up in the air and take a look at a couple of things. What we want to do here today is obviously take the cover off and do some of the first basic explorations of what's underneath the car and some of the details that are actually underneath. We've got the back panel off, which gives access to the oil filter and a few of the things that you would do for some basic service on this particular car. And it's just interesting to see that some of the things that we're all familiar with from a service standpoint, in the previous 997 GT3, you can still see very similar layout in the exhaust, water pump, oil tank. You know, the oil filter has now been moved to the bottom of the car and it's an actually a, a full it's canister, I kind of refer to that as the old school versus the cartridge that a lot of the modern Porsches have used here for the past decade. Porsche has also been somebody that is, like a lot of other manufacturers, using recycled materials and a lot of these plastics and composites that we actually see throughout the car with plastic brake ducts and some of the wheel liners and under cladding is made from recycled materials. And some of the things as far as the texture point out to being and aerodynamic efficiency, and another thing that they're key on is noise and noise reduction. So the furry texture that a lot of the underbody stuff has is actually something that helps keep it quiet inside the cabin. Out back on the exhaust, you see what looks like a, a little uh, can or pot, and it's on both sides of the car. Both of these, left and right, actually control the flap that's in the exhaust, which is what you're activating with the exhaust sport button. As we focused in a little bit on the nuances of the right rear suspension of this car, we can see kind of some carryovers as well as the natural uh, evolvement, if you will, on parts and components. Another thing that's interesting is if you look at the control arm in the back, which is actually aligning for toe as well as camber, they've always used shims on GT3s and you can see that that same principle still goes on with this car. And then near in the right, Front, this big solenoid that's what's controlling the rear wheel steering and that's a new point to the GT3 as well as the new 991 turbo. This car we ordered with the actual the traditional steel brakes instead of the optional ceramic brakes but you can see now that the center lock is removed that the drive dogs are here that actually locate the wheel on the actual upright of the car. It's got the traditional kind of coilovers that have been with the GT3 since the beginning. Very soft spring we were just noticing that's actually equipped on a car such as this. The aerodynamic efficiencies and aids that are within the wheel well are fairly prevalent once you get the wheel out to be able to see some of the duct work and how that's gonna actually cool the brakes and move some of the air underneath the car to generate some of that low pressure on the bottom of the car. Again, Porsche's always had very fantastic brakes. This is a six-piston deal with the traditional pagged pads that also have been with the GT3 basically since the beginning. Well, thanks everyone for joining us on this installment of the 991 GT3 video series, where we've just touched on some of the preliminary things. In the next episodes, we're gonna be working on track preparation, more details on some of the technology that's behind this car, getting to know some nitty gritty details about some of this stuff, and we're gonna be past the break-in point, so we'll really be able to drive it and test some of the launch control and some of the other things that are really looking forward to. So thanks again, we'll see you soon.